it's uh, like this. It's Parshas Vayera, the connection between the beginning of this week's Parsha and the end of last week's Parsha is obvious, and it's emphasized in the first Pasuk that says, Vayera, Elov, Hashem, Be'eloi Neimoyre. So it doesn't say, uh, Vayera, Hashem, Elavrom. It says, Vayera, Elov. To him, Hashem appeared. Who's the him? The him that we were just discussing in the end of Parshas Lech Lecha. And as Rashi says, Vayero Elov Levaker Es HaChoyle. And he was a Choyle as a result of the Mila. Amar Rebchom Ebarchanina Yom Shlishi Lemilosay Hoyo Uva HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'Shal B'Shloimoy. So it's obvious that the Vayero is connected to the Mila that took place in the end of Parshas Lech Lecha. It's not only that the Vayero is coming to help Avram deal with the negative consequences of the Mila, in other words, the Choyli, but uh, it's also a positive reason for Hashem's appearance for the Gilu Shechina. As we see, Rashi says that Be'eloi uh, Mamre, why did Hashem reveal himself Be'eloi Mamre? Because who? Shenosan loi eitze al hamilo. <clears throat> whatever that means. So you see that this uh, revelation comes as a in the schos of the Mila. But that's only the first Pasik that talks about Vayera. The Ike <clears throat> of the beginning of the parasha talks about Avram Avinu's Hachnos Asorchim, about Avram Avinu's Asik in the in Chesed. At Kedai that uh, Chazal really say that the, the first Pasuk seems to be out of context. It just says, And then right away, We really learn from here that As if the, the Pasuk of Vayera appears here only to teach us this, uh, in other words, this part of the story of the Haknos Asorchim. That in spite of Vayera El Vashem, Nevertheless, and he immediately went to take care of the Shloisha Anoshim. So the Iker of this Parsha is really about the Hachnosas Orchim. So it would seem that the Mida of Chesed Lavrom that comes to, uh, that, that expresses itself in the way he treats these Shloisha Anoshim. This is Shaykh to the Mila that was just discussed. And this is what I want to explain, how Chesed is a consequence of the Bris Mila. You know, the, um, we also find in the, in the first Pasuk, Rashi says, V'hu yoshev pesach oil kachoyim ayoyim, a fascinating Rashi. Rashi says, Yoshav ksiv, in other words, the word, Yoshev appears is Chasevov, it's Yud Shin Vez, so it's as of past tense, Yoshev. So it says, Bikesh Lamoid. It was just, it was almost as if he only sat in a past tense and he was about to stand up. That's why the Pasik uses, says Yoshev without the Vov, which also reads as Yoshev, as if he's no longer sitting because he wanted to stand up. Bikesh Lamoid. You continue to sit and I will stand. Stands in Bezden when they are done. Eloikim Nitzav Ba'adas Kale. So it's, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, what does this yeshiva of Avram, as he's exhausted from the Mila, uh, how does this uh, connect with yeshiva Sadayonim? I mean, he's not judging, he's not doing anything uh, remotely shayach uh, to Dayonus. So why is it here that this Yoshev, Yoshev, is a remez for the is a simon of onecha. It's a simon for your children that the dayonim will be sitting and I will be standing there. How does this connect with bezin? Now you know it's not only that Avram Avinu was the first that was bimal, 
But uh, the bris mila ledoris is identified with Avram Avinu. As we know that in every bris mila, the father makes the bracha. One second. Somebody has his. Uh, somebody has to mute their microphone because it's uh, we're hearing you. So, so that that, that the, the father says. So uh, the bris mila is the bris shall have Rome of Vino. And that's the boy on the Sukim. The Mephorish Epsukim, which is like Lecho, that says, By Yomer Lekim el Avram, the Atta is Brisi Tishmer, Atta Vizaracha Achrecha Lidoroi, some Zoe's Brisi Ashe Tishmeru. So this is the brisishul Avram Avinu that we are mekayim ad hayoyimaze. But we find another thing that's referred to as brisishul Avram Avinu. The Gemara in Ksubis, Rav Chesamet Beis, brings a bracha that an ovel would be mevorech his menachamim. And the lotion of the bracha is Achenu goimlei chasodim b'nei goimlei chasodim hamachzikim bevrisoi shel Avram Avin Achenu ba'al hagmul yishalem lochem gmulchem baruch atom yishalem hagmul So in other words, besides for bris mila being defined as brisoi shel Avram Avinu gemilas chasodim is also Referred to as Brisei Shel Avroma Vina, we say that Achenu Goimle Chasodim Bnei Goimle Chasodim Hamachzikim Bevrisei Shel Avroma Vina. Rashi over there says Bevrisei Shel Avroma Vina. She Gomal Chasodim. The Ksiv says further on in our parsha Vayita Eishel, and Eishel is Rashi Tevis Achila Shtiya Lin. In other words, this Misa that happened in the beginning of the Parsha is maybe a one-time thing. We Rashi doesn't feel that this could tell us that Avram Avinu is a Goy Milch Asodim, but Vayita Eishel and Chazal Darsen, Achilas So that was a, a way of life for Avram Avinu. He was Isaac and Gemilus Chasodim. No, Richtig Taka that Avram Avinu was Isaac and Gemilus Chasodim. Chazal tell us that Avram Avinu was Mekayim Kol Atoyre Kul Atsheloi Nitne. And uh, nevertheless, I mean, we don't say that every time a ye does a mitzvah, he's being machzik bevriso shel avrom avinu. So why is it that Gmilas chasadim in particular is referred to as briso shel avrom avinu? It must be that Gmilas chasadim somehow is included in the bris of mila, which is the briso shel avrom avinu. <clears throat> How is that? So maybe we can suggest that, the, you know, the Chinuch in the Mitzvah Beis discusses the fact that, you know, uh, L'chayre, if man ought to be a Mohu, why is he born an Orel? And then he needs to remove the Orla. <clears throat> and the Chinuch says, the Rotso, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted, that a person should be mashlim himself. A person should complete himself. He didn't create him perfect. He created him in an imperfect way with the Arla, and he has the mission to perfect himself. That just like he perfects his body, the source of this is in the Midrash Tanchum in Parish Sazria, where it says, Maise, Sheshol, Tarnos Rufus, Harosha, Esub Akiva. Eze Maisim Noem. What's, uh, which Maisim are, are, are better? Shal HaKadosh Baruch Hu or Shal Basar Vedom? So, Rabbi Akiva said, Shal Basar Vedom Noem. That the Maisim of a bus of a dom are better than the Maisim of a Kaddish Baruch. And then he asked him, Loma Atemoilin, why are you mal yourself? Amalaisir Bakiva said, Ani Oisi Oidea Shal Dovazeata Shalani. Well, Kachik Damti, 
ואמרתי לך, שמה יעשה בני אדם, נועה משאל הקדוש ברוך הוא, I knew that, that, that was on your mind, and that's what you're going to ask me, and that's why I, I preempted the question, and I told you, that מה יעשה בני אדם, I know him, מי מה יעשה הקדוש ברוך הוא, כי הקדוש ברוך הוא creates a person, an oral, and uh, he turns himself into a mole, so מה יעשה בני אדם, I know him, משאל הקדוש ברוך הוא. And then it says, hey, be later, Bakiva, she bolim ugeluskois. He brought him, he brought him uh, kernels and he brought him ready-made loaves of bread. Omaloi, Eila Maisa Kodesh Borchu, Eila Maisa Ibn Yodam. Listen, the, the kernels, that's Maisa Kodesh Borchu. The bread is Maisa Ibn Yodam. So don't you see that Maisa Ibn Yodam are noim mi Maisa Kodesh Borchu. Ein Eilu noim Yosem and Ashibolim. So then Tornas Rufus asks, And he tells him that that HaKadosh Baruch Hu actually wants us to partner with him in perfecting ourselves. And It's interesting that the exact same conversation that Rabbi Kiva has with Tonus Rufus over here about Mila, we find in the Gemara in Bava Basher Daf Yud with regards to Tzedakah. The Gemara says, V'zu she'elo shol Tonus Rufus harosha es Rabbi Kiva im Eloikeichem oi hei v'aniim hu if your uh, Eloikeichem likes the poor, v'pnei ma ene mefarnesam, why doesn't he feed them? Omaloi he wants to give us the schus to, uh, to take part in feeding the poor. This is a reason that you're going to go to Gehenim, says Tonus Trufus. And he says, Yes, so he's upset at his servant. He puts him into the into jail. And he told the guards not to feed him and not to give him to drink. I mean, the king put him in jail. He doesn't want him to have food. And somebody went ahead and gave him food. So Rabbi Kiva says, no, no. You're talking about an Evid. I'm talking about a Ben. And he put him into the base of Asurim and he said that you shouldn't feed him. And somebody went and fed him. The king will be thankful to the person who fed his son. In spite of the fact that the king put his son into the base of Asurim. So, Tunis Rufus, he, he, he took the position that uh, we shouldn't uh, tamper with perfection. I mean, the The Teva of the Guf, it's God's creation. It must be perfect. And the Teva of the world must be perfect, even though we don't always understand. But it expresses the Ratzon HaBoyre. And therefore, he's against removing the Orla. And he's against feeding the poor. In other words, he believes that those that were born with the talents And, and, and with the abilities and, 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 and with, with whatever it takes to, to make money, they are the ones that are supposed to be high up there. And those that uh, were not born with those talents and with those abilities, uh, they, they are supposed to be uh, down, uh, down and out. That's, that's, that's where Hashem wants them to be. And, and, and intervening is, is, is not a way to go. And therefore, being the finest on him is not right. Just like, according to him, being mal is not right. But we believe, like it says in the end of uh, the Maise Bereshis, it says, Ki boi shovas mikol melachto yasheboro eloikim la'asois. And the Medrash says that la'asois is really, uh, is what we do. Boro eloikim in order that we should be lasos, and lasos is miloshen l'sakein, like v'osesa es tzipornehu. In other words, Hashem created the world, but he gave us the mission of lasos to perfect the world. That's our job. The Rebbein wants us to be partners with him in 
this world. Nasa Adam Bitsalmenu Kidmusenu Shtetan Swarim. Nasa is plural. Machir should say Ese Adam. So what's the Nasa? Nasa is what the Rabbi Shalom says to man. Let's make man. In other words, the Rabbi Shalom together with the Bari together with the Nivra make who we are. Like the Pasik says, Ayor Pere, Odom Yivole. Ayor Pere is a wild donkey. Odom Yivole. Rashi says on the Pasik that man is born a wild donkey. And Odom Yivole, he gives birth to himself as an Odom. He transforms himself into an Odom. Odom Yivole in future tense. So Rebakiva is saying that. Yeah, Kodesh Baruch Hu wants the Aniyim to be fed, the Ani, but through us. He wants that the Arla should be removed, but through us. And as the Chinuch says that, Kashem she tashlum tzuris agufu al yodenu, kach tashlum tzuris anefesh, and that's the tzuris oilam. That the Rebbein Shalom wants us as partners. And therefore, immediately after the Mila, Avram Avinu is Oisik in Chesed. That's the 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 Gemara and Baba Basri after the Medrash Tanchuma after Avram Avinu learns this lesson that that it's we shouldn't leave we shouldn't leave our body as is but it's our mission to perfect it he learns that we shouldn't leave the world as is and we should uh, feed the poor and we should make the world a better place. You know, through the Mila, Avram Avinu's name is changed from Avram to Avram. Av hamoin goyim nesaticho. What's the function of an Av? As we see in Parashat Baloyzicho, the function of an Av is so'ehu b'cheikecho. Taking responsibility and taking care. An Av doesn't have the excuse of me'ayin libosor. He needs to respond to the request of t'no lonu bosor v'noi chelo. So, Avram Avinu, if to the Mila becomes an Av Hamoin Goyen, he has a responsibility to carry the entire world. So we say that Goyim Lech Hasodim, Hamachzikim Bevrisa Shal Avram Avinu, because in the bris of Mila is included not only our partnership in being Mashlam, our body, but also our partnership in Tikkun Ha'olam, Ashebor Alikim Lasois. And as it says by the Tzivuy of Mila, Ani Kel, Jin Dalet Yud, Hishalech, Lefonai, Veheyei Somin. In other words, how does a person reach Tmimus? Not by staying at the point that the Rebbe Nishalom brought him to, naturally, but Hishalech Lefonai. And that's how you will achieve the Madrega of Tamim. The Tamim becomes only through the Hishalech Lefonai. And there's another Nekuda, because the Rambam Imer Nebuchim Mechel Gimel Perek Mem Tess, as we all know, says that the time that I, I really like for Bris Mila is because the Mila weakens the Koyach HaTaiva. Now, as long as a person is controlled by his Taiva, so he, his self, is in the center of his life experience. He's in a position of taking for himself. And since he's focused on himself, he doesn't see an avada, he doesn't feel others and the needs of others. And for sure, he doesn't identify with other people's needs. It's all about I, me, and myself. I mean, as long as a person is about taiva, he's fully focused on himself. But when the taiva is weakened and a person is liberated from his taiva, he can see and feel beyond himself. After the meal, and therefore the goyim lechasodim, the goyim lechasodim, are considered machzikim bevrisa shel avram avinu. Because only those that are machzikim bevrisa shel avram avinu those that are mohu are shaykh to gemilus chasodim ba'emes. And, and that's the Indian of the bris mila, not to be on the, in the position of a taker, but to be 
uh, taker, a baltaiva, but to be in the position of a noisen, which is gmilus chasadim. In other words, mila and gmilus chasadim are really two sides of the same coin. In other words, are you in the taking position or, or are you in the giving position? Are you focused on yourself or are you focused outward? So that's also maybe why we say that the simen levanecho, she'osid ani lehesiatsei ba'adas ha'dayonim, behem yoshvim, is, 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 appears in the context of a who yoshev pesach ha'oyel k'choim ha'yoyim. Because l'chore, I mean, how could dayonim b'chlal judge? I mean, Chazal say, al todun es chavercho, at she'tagea l'mkoyim. And m'koyim obviously, is not the geographical location. We're talking about Lim Koimoi. I mean, you have to be in his shoes. You have to, uh, you, if, you, if, if you didn't have his upbringing, if you don't have his psychological makeup, if you don't have his, 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 his environment, I mean, so you can't judge him. So how do we expect that Yonim to be able to be done? You know, the Yerushalmi in the beginning of Sanhedrin brings Rebakiva. When somebody came to him for a din Torah, he said to the Balei Din, You should know in front of whom you stand. You're standing in front of the Rabbi Shalom. You're not standing before me, you're standing, standing before the Rabbi Hashem. As the Pasik says, Ki amishpat kimu, and Elohim nitzav ba'adas keel. In other words, only HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who's mekoimo yishel oilom, he can judge because uh, he's magelem koimoi, of every nidoi. So how do the Dayanim facilitate this? How do they become Kalim for this? When the Dayanim are emptied out of any sense of self, they become a Kli for the Gilu of Chachmasa Yeritzayin Yishol HaKadosh Baruch Hu. If the self is not a Chatzitze between the me and the Rabbi Yishol Olam, then I could actually identify with the Balei Dinim. I could be Magia Lim Koimoi. What doesn't allow me to get into his shoes, my sense of self. But if I free myself of my sense of self, then I could be my Gielim Koimoi. So it's Adhoi Elohim, Yovoi Dvar Shneim, Adhoi Elohim is really best, Nashe Yashun Elohim, Yishalim Shneim Lerayel, but the Dayonim have to be totally identified with their Tselem Elohim in order that they should be able to judge. As Rakiva says, you're not standing lefnei Akiva ben Yosef. You're standing lefnei Misha'am avahoy ha'olam. But how does one become totally identified with the Tzalem Aleichim? You know, as the Nefesh Achaim is Marich in his first shah, that the, the meaning of Tzalem Aleichim is really that man was created to be a giver and not a taker. Just like the Rabbi Nishalom is Machaya, all the Oilamis, gives life and Shefa to all the Oilamis. That's also the role of man. And he needs to get into that position. That's the Tzalem Aleikim. So when the when a person rids himself of self-interest and he's not focused on himself and he, he is, he's Megala, his Tzalem Aleikim, then it's Lefnei Misha Omar Vahoyo Ha'olam Atem Oimdim Lefnei Lefnei Ha'akiva Ben Yosef. So since the weakening of Taiva is through the bris milah, so Avram Avinu's Yoishev Pesach HaOyel Kachoy Mayoyim is really connected with the Yeshiva Sadayonim because the Yeshiva Sadayonim is, is, is only possible when the Dayonim rid themselves of their sense of self, which is really the bris of Avram Avinu, which is the bris of Milos Chasodim, of Machzikim B'bris Yishol Avram Avinu, Achenu, Goim Lei Chasodim, Nei Goim Lei Chasodim, which is the bris of not being focused on myself and having the ability to see beyond myself and to get into the other person's shoes. And that's that's the Indian of Gemilus Chasodim. So, you know, the, that's why the Simon of Anecho is over here. And you know that the uh, Maharach or Zarua, 
everybody knows, says that Mila is a mitzvah that's nimshach, that uh, the, the, the part of the mitzvah sheyi and mohu, that you should be mohu. So in other words, it's, it's, it's a lifelong mission. It's not just a one-time thing. I mean, ridding ourselves of our sense of self and having the ability to see beyond ourselves and to empathize and to sympathize and to identify with other people is 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 really the achenu bnei goim lechasodim bnei goim lechasodim hamachzikim bevrisoi shel avroam avinu. That's how we uphold the bris shel avroam avinu, and that's uh, then we're capable of vayisayin of vayar vehinei shloisha anoshim. They can be right there, and you don't see them. But vayisayin of vayar. You you lift your eyes and you see things that you haven't seen before. Now you see. And then Vayar, Vayar is the cross and they're seeing and they're seeing and there's many madregas in the seeing. And the uh, is often we should be zoicha to uh, come to uh, some 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 level of this.